Welcome people, so this is gonna be a short video of the uh, new game um, Under a New Sun and uh, this is a new game that's gonna try and challenge or at least trying to fit in with the other games in this genre so let's see what it has to offer to the genre of survival crafting and it is a game with a little bit of story um, you are on your way to finding a new home and you find yourself crashed on this planet that resembles earth quite a lot except we have a you know we have a yellow sun and there's gonna be a blue sun somewhere and yeah and we don't know what happened what's happened we just know we are here in a cryopod and now we're stranded on this island so we gotta make you what we, what would we can find and the story is about that we were apparently not alone so let's start by picking up this little note and uh, picked up by E, gonna double press it, and it says, Dear Ian, I really hope it won't come to this, but uh, when you read this, it seems like I couldn't come back here. 17 days ago, my cryopod went out of power, then I woke up here, a few islands for the northwest. I tried everything I could to get you out of that thing, but I just couldn't. I always missed the key to start the wake sequence. I need to find answers. A. Anderson. So apparently Mr. Anderson has left us here. Uh, we're gonna fend for ourselves and hopefully join up with him at some point. Uh, but yeah. And now we gotta see what we can do. So the game is basically built up exactly the same way as most uh, crafting and survival games. You uh, find stuff and you build stuff out of it. Uh, in this case we have a few items we can pick up from the uh, cryopod. <clears throat> I'm not going to spend time breaking this up uh, at this point because while we can break the uh, ribbons here we can't get into the locks yet we need uh, specific hard tools for that there is a box up here that I didn't notice earlier but I noticed now uh, that I think we need to get up to because it might hold some uh, pretty useful items and I've got to find a way to get up there so and otherwise this is just going to be us playing the tutorial part through as you can see up in the top left corner we have tutorial tips and I do uh, suggest you follow those in the initial play to get an idea of uh, how the game is built up and what you need to do to get going and so on so right now I have a big trouble coming up to this uh, I wonder if I can break it from here I obviously can't win out any tools so we're gonna follow the tutorial and I'll come back to that box later okay so by pressing tab, you get in here, you have a crafting menu. Uh, this is built up into sections. You've got crafting, which is, has subsections that has tools, weapons, and miscellaneous. And as, as you can see, it resembles quite a lot what you have, might have seen in Stranded Deep. Uh, or another game similar, like uh, Raft. Then we have the building menu. You have basics, you have workstations, you have nauticals, and you have advanced. As you can see, there, at this point, there's no need to unlock the specific types of things you can build but as you can see some of them requires items like clay that you don't have access to right away i think you might you know clay might be you may, might be able to dig it up but some things you need to smelt like iron and so on but we got access to most basic stuff and um let's if we follow the tutorial it starts off by saying press f we got this watch. You can tell it's got a health bar, you got the fluids bar, you got the food bar. There's nothing like temperature or anything at this point. But of course you have to mine these uh, so you don't die. And uh, just from a quick play before I made this video, I learned that there is something as permadeath in this game. So you will become friends with the save key. <laughs> Promise me that. Good. Collect the stone using E. We already had a stone. And the good thing is that if you have already done something in the tutorial, you can just skip it by pressing Ctrl U. Then we get to the next step. So pressing tab, here we have the stone. You can see you have the sharp stone here and you just simply click it. And then it's made. We have no crafting time in this game. It sort of happens immediately. Now to get the stone into the hotkeys you can just drag it over by left mouse button over to let's put it on E and one and then by pressing one I have it in my hand 
And then it's just like any other game in this genre. We get some fiber. There's another stone. And some of these are just for decorations, so yeah, but you'll figure it out. Now it says craft a rope. We need to harvest banana leaves, and yeah, I guess you'll find learn about that trial and error. Oh yeah, crabs. They might seem small and friendly or benign, but they actually damage you as you walk by them. So mind be mindful of them. I don't know, I think this guy might be set in a rotation kind of cycle here. And then on this little island you start out on, you have two snakes. These guys, they will poison you. Thankfully, they die relatively easy. So we're gonna... Oh, come on, there we go. We will get back to this guy once we have a bow, an arrow, or a spear. Then we can kill him very easily. But now, right now we need them to leave some this big one. And it takes a few hits. There we go. The plant stays up, but the leaves fall down. And you, you can't hit it anymore. It's sort of done for now. But that's fine. These leaves are what we turn into rope. Like that. Now it says gather a coconut. You get these down by uh, shooting a spear at it. Or shooting an arrow. Now let's take this because it's nice and easy to look at. Inside the crafting weapons menu, you can make bows and you can make a spear. Spear is the cheapest, it just requires one stick and no ropes or anything. Um, I find the bow is quite useful, so we're gonna find one more stick. We already have a rope, already have the rope. Look at this, there's a stick. And you simply just click it. No. Silly me, I made an arrow instead. Let's find another stick. Oh yeah. There's this little drone on the starting island, and it has two, three arrows in it, so you don't have to make that many. The arrows, for the most part, are recollectable, so if you shoot something, you can pick them up again. Of course, if it's for force within reach, but you'll see now. So now we have the uh, mats for the bow. We make the bow, drag it. And the way the shooting works in this game is, of course, you aim with the right mouse, mouse button. But there's no, like draw action by holding down the mouse button, left mouse button. So what you point at is what you hit. I just simply press and it falls down. And you can see, get the arrow back. Now this guy here needs to be split open. And we are going to need an, a knife anyways to skin the snake. So we might as well make that. We need a rope. And we need a stick. And we, I know we can find a stick relatively easy here somewhere. Like that. Make a stone knife. Put him over there. Or oh, it. And you simply just go to coconut. And the same with the snake. Let's go kill the snake now. Uh, you just slice it up. And of course you can already guess what you're going to get from that. You're going to... Look at that crap again. You're going to get meat from this guy. So just point and shoot. And you can basically shoot the crab too, I guess. And then we're going to pick up the whole crab, but here we're going to skin the snake by holding E. And we're going to recollect the arrow and the meat. And this guy, we could probably, yeah, just knife him. Good, now it's a strike something around, and that's to show you how the physics works in this game. It's kind of like uh, Stranded Deep. Uh, let's find the stick. That's probably the easiest to show it on. Where is this? Uh, might as well pick these up as we go around, you know. These stones, because we're going to need them for, like, the fire pit and so on. Uh, but you know what? Let's... Is that a stick? No. We can, we can show it on a rock. So I'm pointing at a rock, not doing anything. And then I click the right mouse button and hold it. And you can sort of like drag it around. You can probably throw it as well. Ah, not really. <laughs> but anyways. A little bit of throw, yeah. So that's, that's just to show you that. And you're going to use that in some workstations. It took me some time to work out. Even though it was literally written or explained how you want, they wanted us to do it. 
Uh, it still didn't make sense because I hadn't tried doing it that way before. But uh, we'll get to that. So now it says build a shelter. I kind of like this place here. Uh, even though there's no such thing as uh, in Stranded you have the uh, sun. So you can get sunstroke and, and so on. There's no temperature uh, modifiers in this game so far. So what we're going to... Uh, I just like the looks of it. I'm going to place a shelter here. And shelter is found on the build men menu. As you can see, we need three sticks, we need one rope and six fibers. And clearly, to see, you are missing the ones that are written in red. And you can see, I don't have any sticks at all or any rope, so we're going to find both. The rope I can make a one off. And then we need more banana leaves and we need sticks. And while I could go around and, you know, find sticks and all that, I could also just make a stone axe. Oh, we don't have room. So now we're going to put the coconut down. And I do that simply by left mouse button, click and hold, and drag it out, and drop it, then it falls to the ground. We're going to make a stone axe. Get that back up. Oh, actually, put that back down, and I can show it. So now I have the stone axe. Just hit it once, twice. What? Ah, something changed you because that was what I did before. Let's try again. This time here. Let's try with the knife then. Is it because I'm hungry? Let's see what happens if we eat this chicken. You can see the health bar goes up. Does it give me any more? See, that's weird because you're supposed to be able to crack this coconut. Oh well. We'll leave him there for a moment. And what I wanted to do instead of going around and find the sticks, is we're gonna knock this tree over. And you can either hold the mouse button and it will hit slower, but you can also repeatedly click and that does it a bit faster. The tree falls down, then you have to click it again, and it breaks apart. For the big trees, they go to logs. For the more thinner, younger trees, they go straight to sticks. But the big trees go to logs, and if you want sticks out of logs, I'm not gonna say, uh, yeah, I can show it now actually, yeah. Oh, it, the fibers in the way, so we're <laughs> gonna get rid of that. And now I took the log, we're gonna take one more log. And then I can hit the log, and then I'm gonna get sticks eventually. So, see, I got three sticks from one log. And we're just gonna use the beach as a storage area right now. So, what we, did we need for the shelter? We needed. We have the sticks, so now we need rope, and we need fiber. We have the fiber, we need the rope. And the rope was from the big banana tree, so it leaves here. So now, bang that a few times. Pick up all the leaves, make sure to get them all. And now, one, two. And we can build the shelter. And like I said, uh, since there are no temperature modifiers, it doesn't really matter where you put it. I just found it was it looked, it looked nice here. So we're gonna place it here. And this functions as your save game or your sleep. So if I just press, I get the option to save. And if I hold it down, I sleep. And if you if I was to do it now, we can do it. I would say too early, and it's because it's you know it's day. You're not really tired. Back to the uh, tutorial. It says start a fire. I'm gonna pick up all these fibers here. And to start a fire, you can either choose to make a crude fire or a campfire. Now, I went straight to a campfire because, you know, from other games, uh, we've learned that these are stronger to last longer time. So why not just make that from the get-go? And it, it's work, worked fine because you can just find stone. Uh, let's make a pickaxe actually. Now we have these big stones. Pickaxe is one stick, one 
uh, rope and one sharp stone. Well, we had a stone, we can make a sharp stone. And now we just need one stick. And can you just go around and see if we can find a quick stick? <laughs> quick stick. We cannot, so we're going to find a younger tree here. Cut that down. There we go. And we're going to chop that up. And hopefully that should go straight to sticks. And it did. And fiber. Oh yeah, remember the fiber. Because it can be hard to see sometimes in the grass. But the trees also do drop some fiber when you chop them down. So. Go out here where we find the big stones. We're going to make the pickaxe. We don't have room. I'm going to drop this. So far, I haven't seen me going bad. So even, yeah, you can run around with it for a bit. But, uh, and we're going to replace the sharp stone here. Uh, get the meat. No, we know we need rooms. No, we have stones. Yeah, you can see there's not a lot of menu space. So you have to consider what you bring in into your bag. Now, let's try this pickaxe. Keep banging this. And we got some stones, so that was nice and fast. Because, you know, instead of waiting and just walking around waiting for respawns, this is just faster. Only got two stones, but it would take longer to find those two stones. Okay. Now, I said there wasn't anything such as temperature modifiers. There is something as humidity modifiers. And the, this rain, actually, if you had, if I had built a fire here now and lit it, the rain would put it out. Um, so take that into consideration. So if I was to build it now, because I was des desperately needing to cook some meat, I wouldn't be able to. Uh, because the rain would just, you know, I would keep trying, it would still put the fire out right away. So yeah, take that into account if you get into... Uh, you don't want to get into situations where you desperately need to eat some food. But we can make the fire regardless. And it will be ready. We need a few more sticks. Just one more. We will cut down because I know we're going to need the logs. So I'll cut down this. Big tree. I kind of like that they did it this way, right? That the uh, whole tree falls instead of disappearing until this point of course it has a nice uh, touch to it let's see the yeah drop fiber again so you know keep an eye on that and the bigger trees drop quite a lot of fiber so we get some what's that sticks or logs have a lot we're actually gonna need six logs at some point soon we're gonna put that down here and it will, it will stay there for some time at least and uh, we want to find either a stick or a younger tree. And now we're getting close to our first bedtime, so I just wanna... And from what I've gathered so far, there are no dangers in the night as such yet. Uh, it's just very hard to see anything at all without the torch. Now that we have a stick, we can make the campfire. And, you know, this looks like an obvious spot to, for a campfire, right? I'll put that down. You can choose the direction. I don't know why they put a direction in the fire, but, you know, we're gonna, yeah, adhere to that. So, building fire isn't enough. You gotta go back to crafting. You gotta go to tools, and you gotta make this kindling. You can see, I need the rope again. I need two sticks. And I want to get this going actually before we sleep. Oh, not that doesn't matter really, but we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it. Because I actually want to take this as an opportunity to see what happens if I put on some meat just before we sleep. If that in any way ruins or spoils the meat while we sleep. So, make now we have sticks, we can make the kindling. And we're going to put that instead of the bow for a moment. Okay, like that. Now, the way the kindling works, it's just a tool. You don't spend it, so you still have it after you lit the fire. Like that. 
Now, how to use the meat? Okay, so you're gonna go into a menu and then you're gonna drag and hold the meat over the fire. And it said drop here, but you can see it falls down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your right mouse button and drag it up. And place it where it's stable. And you can see there's no indicator whether it's cooked or not, but you can see there's a small timer going around clockwise. And once that reaches all the way around, it's done. If you eat it before, you will get food poisoning. Now it said I'm dehydrated, so we're gonna put on the bow again and see if we can find a coconut. That's the only source of fluids we have right now. Oh look, there, I was able to cut it up. And you just simply double click it. And it gives us fluids. And this guy, I'm gonna drink him as well. More fluids. And I said I wanted to see what happens if we sleep. So we sleep. And we'll find out whether the fire is still burning and the meat, if it charcoals or anything. So we slept for nine hours. And you know what? The meat is still here and it looks fine. We can just double click it. And we're back to full this, uh, you know, food, the food bar stool again. We also have the crab, we can put him on. And same thing, and drag him in. And see if we can make him stay. <laughs> there we go. I wonder if his, oh, yeah, so the physics works <laughs> that they affect each other. He said, just be mindful of that. You can make something to hold them over the fire otherwise you can just wait wow <laughs> there we go both cooking at some point you'll be able to make the spit which will make it a lot easier well you know what let's not make that right away right two ropes we don't have enough for that, so we're gonna just find some fiber. It can be any of these plants, really. Really fast to get that. And now it says splitting a log, and we'll get to that in the tutorial. Just a minute, I just want to make the spit. And we need sticks, so we find a younger tree that looks young. And... As in any, any other crafting game or survival game, your tools will slowly uh, you know, go bad and end up being destroyed and you can't repair them so at least in the beginning and I haven't seen if you get repair tools or work stations later on but in, this, in the beginning you, you simply just make a new tool and thankfully the stone axe isn't that expensive in mats so it's, it's no problem good let's see cramps cramps are done pick them up Eat one. So we still need water. That seems to be the uh, biggest issue, actually. That we don't get enough to drink. And that's why I wanted to get up to that box, because I think there's something in it. I think there might be water in it, actually. Oh, look at this. Sometimes the coconuts will fall out of the tree on their own, which is nice. i just drink down. i go half bar. Oh, well. Let's make the fire spit. We need one rope, two ropes. So I would guess that probably the ropes are going to be the biggest issue in the beginning because you need these specific leaves to make them. And there are not that many trees, banana trees around. So be mindful, just, you know, don't waste them away. Don't mass build anything. Try to keep it simple in the beginning. Oh. We need backspace. Crab will go out for a moment. And sharp stone will go out. Quite a spit. So as you can see, this one I can still turn. And it sticks to the uh, fire pit quite nicely. Placed. And take these items up again. So I can hang stuff on here. 
just like in other games. Good. Now it's at split a lock. And you just take a stone axe and then you go. And I showed this earlier, but now yeah, the tutorial is asking for it, so we're just gonna do it. Now it says build a loom. Good. It's in here in the building. Sub, uh, sub menu is workstations and you got the loom. We need six sticks and two ropes. We don't have enough for either. I don't want to waste the logs right now because I still know I'm going to need them. We're going to find the banana leaves to make the rope. And at some point around this time, I think this is where the axe will break the first time. So let's uh, dump the kindle for a moment just to make room for rope. One, two, was it three? Two ropes, good. Sharp stone will go out and we take the kindle back. And then we need sticks, we need one more stick. My question is, should I just find one stick instead of splitting a tree and yeah, this one. So the point of the loom is to make cloth. And this was... <laughs> It kind of triggered me, to, or not triggered, it confused me the first time I tried it, because even though it's written so obvious, I just couldn't understand it. So we're going to place this guy, and as you see, it has an arrow. It kind of points to the front end, so I'm going to just stick it here, like that. Now it says, need ropes, okay. Reduce cloth. Drop three ropes out of your inventory and drag the items in-game with the right mouse, mouse button over the loom to produce cloth. Okay, so three rows. That part we get. One, still need more leaves. Thankfully, this one has respawned. One, two, three. Du, 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 du. Uh, that was it, I think. So now we have three rows. Okay, and then it says drop the three rows. One, and it doesn't drop the whole stack. You have to drop them individually. One, two, three. Okay. So what, now what? Well, to make the cloth, you actually have to work on the loom. Press and hold right, right mouse button and drag it back and forth. Next one. And there we go. And this is a piece of cloth. You can pick that up. Now the cloth we built or we made because we needed to make a raft. Now it says build a raft. Over the nautic section in the building menu, tip boats are capable of carrying a chest and torch. Good. We go to the nautic menu. As you see, we already have all the mats, more or less. No, we don't. <laughs> it's It cheats you, so you actually have to mouse over to see what you're missing. We need three sticks, we need six logs, we need two ropes. Well, we can make one rope. And then we're gonna go find more banana. Banana leaves. And this is where you might have to wait for a respawn if you've been aggressive with your farming. Thankfully, there was one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven leaves on this one. One. So now we have three ropes, and we still have an leaf, that's good. And we only needed two, so I actually made one too many. We need three sticks, we need six logs. We have five logs, I think, or was it four? At least I know I have to. And these are decoration trees, so you can't uh, knock those down. So I, I have to choose one of the thicker ones, because otherwise I'm just going to get sticks. Palm trees you can't knock over. To thin this, I think might become logs. Let's hit this one down. It doesn't seem like there's any benefit. No, oh, see, it would appear that my axe broke. So what now? Well, we have to make a new axe. We're gonna go back to crafting. We're gonna find one stick. One simple stick. Come on. Let's have it. We are in luck. 
And we're gonna make the stone axe. And we can't, so we got to dump the crab for a moment. Make the stone axe. Put that instead of the kindle. Grab the uh, crab again. And then we'll go back to the tree we were felling over here. Which is here. Whoops. Let's hope we get some logs from this guy. Well, ah, yeah, and of course I can't, but we can drag it. And we can drag that as well. What do? And I could, you know, semi throw it. Not that far. As you can see, you can't really throw it really far. So, back to the boat. We have the logs. We have no sticks. We need three of those. Otherwise, we have everything else. Have so much fiber, really. I'm gonna dump the note because we already knew what Mr. Anderson wrote. What did I say we needed? Sticks? Let's just take one of these younger trees because it will probably give three sticks. There we go. Yeah, but do we have space? We have space. So you actually need to have the stuff in your bag to build stuff. So now we have enough stuff for the raft. And this is the raft. And you know, it might seem, why do I have to put it underwater? Don't worry. It's just the way it is right now. It lands perfectly fine. And you can drag this around, you know, keep it safe by putting it on land. And then when you're ready, as would be soon, Drag it out into the water. I think that's fine. Then it says press E to control. Once you're on the boat, you press E once again. Now you're kind of free roaming the boat, or how to say. And this means you can also fall into the water if you're not careful. It says press E to set sail. Uh -huh. Once you do that, the boat starts sailing, just so you know. And then you have a little bit of wiggle room here, so it's going to change the direction according to wind, because I think there is such a thing as wind here. Uh, so we're going to put up the sail again, and we're just going to drag the boat back. Because I'm not going to sail off right now. But yeah, basically when you, once you're on the boat, you can uh, steer it as you, you know, would steer anything else with uh, your directional buttons A, D, W, and S. So, yeah. But actually, at this point, once we have gotten on the boat and done what the tutorial says, it will say, tutorial complete, explore, build and survive on your own. And this is where I'm gonna leave you for this little episode. This was just a tutorial. But I hope if you found this helpful and useful, please stop, drop a like, subscribe and the notifications turn on. And I promise I'm gonna make a little series about this game and we'll see and explore what is possible and what the heck happened to Mr. Anderson. And of course find out how to get into these boxes up here. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!